the one who fasts. Stand up in prayer at night, and Allah will forgive. Allah will forgive. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Al Qa'il. In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalloon ala al Nabi. Ya ayyuha al Ladina amanu. Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Imam Aziz Abdeen, and I'd like to welcome you to the month of Ramadan, the great month of Ramadan, and to this show, which is we're going to talk about the importance of this month as well as we're going to talk about a checklist for each and every day of Ramadan. So we should learn every, every day something new about Ramadan. It's a reminder. For example, we're going to talk about the importance of, for example, the recitations of the Quran, the sadaqah, the attending the knowledge circle in the masjid to pray with the congregation and goes on and on. And I promise I won't take much of your time, only a few minutes, insha'Allah ta'ala. But before we start talking about these important values, I thought we need to talk about the preparation for this great month of Ramadan. Preparation is very important. Imagine you're going to go for a trip or somebody so dear to you coming to visit you. At this point, you have to get yourself ready either to receive this person or if you are traveling to go somewhere. So now, if you are alive when the month of Ramadan hits and arrive, you need first of all to say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Because month of Ramadan came and I am alive. And this is not any, uh, like any, it's not like any other month. It's a great month. You know why? Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts your deeds, in that in this month and accept your fast in this month that mean all your previous sins will leave when this month leave so we'll be, you will be like a, a brand new like newborn baby you have no sin inshallah except the people's right if you were unjust or if you oppress someone or if you take somebody's right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not let it go till that person forgives you. So talking about the preparation, what kind of preparation I have to do, uh, for example, this month? First of all, like we need to know food, less food. Talk, less talk. Uh, sleep, less sleep. And like uh, argument, less argument. Gossip, less or not, or no gossip at all. Argument, less argument, or no argument. Also, backbiting, no, no backbiting. Haram, no, no haram. Nothing what Allah has forbid. Now, this is all no, and there's some others, but we could stop at this point. We could continue now. How about yes, good deeds, more of the good deeds. To come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, more you need to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A prayer, more a prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to purification of soul, more purification of soul. This is the time for it. Now, charging your iman again, more yes for charging the iman of again. Because what's the reason, what's the result of this? As we said, if you fast, you do your fasting perfect, and you follow what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you. مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانَ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ The one who fasts Ramadan for no reason, but for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and part of his or her faith, then Allah absolutely will take these sins away from him and inshallah this hadith because so important probably we're going to mention this again and again in every episode وَأَقُولُ قَوْلِي هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ الْعَظِيمَ لِي وَلِكُمْ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ 
وبركاته. Oh one who fasts, stand up in prayer at night, and Allah will forgive. Allah will forgive.